Well, here at Richmond we have a, a wide range of uh, faculty members who teach within the international relations uh, arena. Uh, I start with Dr. Mike Keating, for example. Uh, Mike very much concentrates upon uh, developmental studies and uh, relations uh, amongst African states, for example. So he does some interesting work in that area, which is obviously a, a great growth area. Uh, we have people such as Wolfgang Deckers, for example, who specializes very much in, uh, in China. He adds uh, a great degree of experience uh, to the team here at Richmond University. Um, Chris White, who started uh, earlier in the year, uh, brings a, a great degree of, of background, uh, looking at a wide range of subjects, including international law, which he's been teaching this semester. Uh, as I mentioned, my own background is very much upon looking at the relationship between the global superpower that is the United States and the rest of the world. So amongst us, we're around the team, I think that we have a wide range of expertise which covers a great range of the, uh, the countries in the world which come together to make, I think, quite an interesting and unique international relations program. Well, of course, you, one comes to university looking to further one's opportunities and one's possibilities and uh, one of the great opportunities I think is to further a career in international relations with a degree from Richmond University. We very much um, try to mould our students and push them to a point where they are considering careers beyond Richmond University from a very early stage. It's very little point in just gaining an education for education's sake in this day and age I think. And certainly one of the things I'm most interested in is uh, engaging in one-on-one uh, -on -one relationships with students to try and understand what it is that their aspirations are beyond their time at Richmond University so that we can uh, give them the skills required to go on to gain uh, gainful employment in the international relations environment, if that's their choice, after graduation. We do send a high degree of our students on to postgraduate work and we do engage now in internship programs, including uh, a growing number of placements uh, within the international relations community, both here in London and around the world, including new opportunities which are developing in the United States itself. Clearly one of the most interesting things uh, here at Richmond is our location in London, uh, which grants us not only proximity to the, the many multinational corporations which use London as a hub, not only to the uh, political entities which uh, serve here in London, but also to the world's mass media. Uh, if you look at any of the major networks in the United States, for example, they've all got headquarters here, in, or bases here in the United Kingdom at least. And this very much allows us to interact with these entities, to provide internships, for example, as well as a, a growing uh, relationship between us uh, and various aspects of the media. So you will see, for example, as uh, members from the Richmond community uh, on camera presenting expert opinion upon uh, increasingly numbers of satellite communications and uh, satellite broadcast networks, for example, as well as a growing relationship between ourselves and the print media. Uh, and uh, this is something which I think can only assist not only Richmond University itself, but those students coming here uh, to study and, and to gain, hopefully, some sort of insight into what it is to deal with the, uh, the media groups as a whole.